Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. A 14 year old orphan becomes an NBA superstar after trying on a pair of sneakers with the faded initials MJ inside. When I first saw this movie, I was thinking to myself, damn, if I were to find a pair of Michael Jordan's old sneakers and put them on and I was able to play basketball just as good as him, whoo shit, what would I do? You know, I'd be trying to ball everybody up. You know, pretend like I'm a nobody and embarrass the fuck out of anyone I play against. That's what I would do. You have this character named Calvin. He's an orphan played by Lil Bow Wow. Nowadays, he's known as Bow Wow because he's a grown ass man. But in the context of this film, he's a little guy. He has his friends and they all want a family. Mom, dad, I get that a lot of orphans want that. I grew up with both of my parents. They're still around. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I understand that Calvin wants a family. And that allowed me to, you know, feel uh, like an emotional attachment to the Calvin character. He seemed like a cool kid, and I wanted the best for him. I'm like, yeah, I want him to find a family. I want his friends to find a family. I want something good to happen to this kid. One day, Calvin goes to a basketball game with his friends. Uh, they go to see the Los Angeles Knights. And uh, there is a halftime contest. And Calvin's ticket number is called. And it's supposed to be this one-on-one -on -one thing going on with a, a player named Tracy, who is on the Los Angeles Knights. And this is supposed to raise money for charity or whatever, uh, depending on uh, how well that Calvin does, how many shots he can get off and stuff like that. Sure enough, Calvin embarrasses the fuck out of Tracy. You know, Tracy being this big-time NBA player and he's getting balled up by this kid. And then Calvin does a crazy Michael Jordan dunk. And everybody's like, what the fuck? You know, they're just shocked, you know. And uh, we end up seeing Calvin be part of this big time NBA team, which is something that I can't see happening in real life. But then again, if a kid is that good, it might happen like that. But this is just a movie. But man, Michael Jordan's shoes gives you basketball skills. That's crazy as hell. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. You know, I feel like this is a solid movie, fun movie for the family, and, you know, you get to let your imagination run wild. Like, what would you do if you had Michael Jordan sneakers, and then you put them on, and it gave you some skills to ball motherfuckers up when it comes to basketball? You know, that just sounds like a good time. You know, it could get you a lot of attention, get you to make a lot of money. But um, at the end of the day, when you think about uh, everything that's involved with this film, you have the essence of family and what it feels like to belong, what success is like, and how you handle success, and how individuals try to use you when you, when you have a certain amount of talent and success where they don't really care about you before, but now that you popping, they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to fuck with you now. And uh, Morris Chestnut is in here, a uh, black actor that I really like. He plays the character named Tracy. And um, I just had a really good time with this film. So it's solid. So if you're a fan of basketball, you want to watch something with your family, I think Like Mike is the way to go. Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know. And then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Shit, I'm about to go play basketball right now. And until next time, Terrence out.